Hello. So we are back, and this time we have a nice laptop to fix. So check here. This is a classic HP laptop. You remember this model? MD CPU, Radeon graphics, fingerprint. Old, but this, this was a nice one, you know? People, they were, they were using this laptop for gaming. Okay, the problem with this one... Uh, not turning on. Okay, now this this is a tricky fold. It's a tricky fold. So uh, I will take out the charger. The, me, my, this uh, this uh, pl uh, adapter is connected to the power supply. Yeah? So check check the power supply. I want to check the power supply. Yeah? So plug in the charger. Like four point eight amps, and then going to zero. What do you think it will happen with a normal charger? With a normal charger, I mean, even with this one, let me see the voltage. Yeah, the voltage gets dropped to 16 volts. But any current you have here, the current it will just skyrocketing, like probably over 10 amps. I mean, the charger, it instantly, it will shut down. And that's the reason why this laptop came here, like not turning on. You plug the charger, and the charger, it will shut down. My power supply don't. To limit the current, so pay attention on the current. Plug in the charger. You see. Okay, so basically, after the power supply limit the current, and I push the power button, the laptop is starting. And actually, what you see there is the normal current. You can see the laptop is working. It's loading the windows. So who is taking this current? The battery, you're right, the battery, the battery, yeah? So let's open this laptop because this is a precise fault, yeah? This is what is happening when you have one, uh, uh, one MOSFET is shorted on the input circuit. You have two MOSFETs there, probably one is shorted. But let's open and check. Okay, so we open the laptop. Let's try and find the, the input uh, circuit. Yes, yeah? so we have the charging port, which is going. Hopefully, I don't have to take the board out. Probably not. Let's have a look together, yeah? Let's have a look together. I believe the MOSFETs are here. But let's check to be sure. Okay, so that's the circuit what we have here. Here is the battery connector. But from what I can see here, here is the current sensor. Then we have one MOSFET. Then we have another MOSFET. And here we have the charging port connector. Yeah. Now let's get the multimeter, which is on screen. And let's check together. So the first MOSFET, 1 ohm. You can see on the screen. The second MOSFET, the second MOSFET actually is good. And the people ask, wait, one second. The people ask on one video, sorry, so what's happened with the shorted MOSFETs? Doesn't work anymore? Yeah, it does. The problem with this one is the gate is shorted. Well, actually, the gate is not short. It's like 184 ohms. You can see on the screen. So that's the issue. Yeah, it's not about the laptop, it will not work if you short the MOSFETs. It will work and charge fine. The problem is the gate, yeah? Okay. Let's quickly remove this. Quickly, quickly, yeah? Quickly. So this is shorted, right? Good. Oh, you know, I hate this, this tweezer. One second, let me, let me grab another tweezer. Yeah, that's good. So what do we have here? We have this capacitor. And we have that one, which is fine, yeah? Good. Let's clean it nicely. Good. Now let's find another MOSFET. 
or an old motherboard maybe. Yeah, found another MOSFET. Let's remove this. Come on, what's happening? Okay, so we remove the MOSFET. Now let's solder the MOSFET there. A little bit of flux. Just a little bit. Perfect. Uh, the MOSFET position. Good. Now let's solder the MOSFET. Perfect. Come on. Perfect. Good. So what do you think it will work or not? That's the question. That's the question. Uh, let's suck the heat from there. We need a battery, right, in order to test? Yeah, we need a battery. Good, let's plug the battery. Let's plug the battery. Good. Now is the moment. Let's plug the charger and see what is happening. What do you think it will happen? Hmm? Check that on the screen. Like 60 milliamps. 90, 240. It's going down. It's thinking. I should charge or not. 2.8 amps, you can see. So you see this is a... The moment when the laptop is negotiating the, the charging current, 60 milliamps, like 240, 60 back, and then it's going up to 2.8 amps. Voltage is still 19 volts. So now uh, we are sure, now the laptop it will not shut down, even with the customer charger. Is the laptop working? Probably. Let's see. If I remember on this one, was the first two pins, right? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, and it's working. But of course, it's no hard drive. Yeah. So have in mind, when you have this kind of weird problem, like charging, like you see it's taking too much current, then it's not taking this. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea just to check the first two input MOSFETs. You know, for short. Very simple with the multi inputer, right? Okay. I'll stop now. I'll put all back together. I'll not keep it here. The point of the video is just to understand. Yeah? I told you every time with that charger, you see nothing. Exactly why this laptop came here. They plug the charger. The current goes up. And uh, the charger it will cut down the power, yeah. So as soon as the current is going up, the charger it will cut down the power. And obviously here will be like no power, like dead. Pressing a power that power button dead because it's not charging the battery, obviously. But with the power supply, with the power supply, the power supply was limiting the current. Then it will uh, comes back. Pretty cool, right? Okay, good. So I'll stop now. Don't forget those kinds of problems, you can see them on our uh, 
forum yeah web forum we are all there you have a link on the description go there make an account try to help someone try to share something or ask for help it's fine if you have a problem you can ask there for help so see you on the next one bye